Hey guys and welcome to Curls Dislike. These are basically videos of things I dislike, so you might agree with them, might not. With that being said, let's see what today's topic is. Curl dislikes Netflix? Yeah, I kind of do dislike Netflix more than I actually like it. Um, I don't like some of the things they do when it comes to removing certain movies because they don't give you a warning. So basically it's like you make, you create a list. So I'm going to put this in an example. You create the list of the movies you want to see. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, you had like 10 and now you have 8. And you're like, wait, didn't I have 10 movies I was going to watch? And then you kind of forget what movies you had on your list. And then you start thinking, thinking, thinking until you kind of recall and you're like, oh wait, wasn't I supposed to see this? I didn't see this. And then all of a sudden, now it's only on DVD only available. So it's like, that kind of sucks. There's no warning or indication that movies are basically leaving. And I don't like that. that. That just ruins the experience for me for Netflix. Now, I had Netflix for a year now, I believe, and I'm not too fond of it. I, I still pay for the services. There are movies I see, some, some movies I'm just like, I never heard of you, let's watch you. So I watched a lot of Kung Fu Asian movies. So in that aspect, okay, cool. But other than that, they really don't have like a variety of movies for me personally to watch. I'm always selecting one at random. I'm looking at the rating and then I go, eh, hey, I'm sure why not? And then I'm like, ugh, this sucked. So I just don't really like that if you make a list and there is a movie you want to see and you're like, I'll get to it in, in time. Like next week or something because I'm like busy this week. So I'm going to knock this short movie out and then all of a sudden you're going to knock that three hour movie like Winter Sleep which they removed and I was pissed about it without indication and I'm just like ah oh, great and that happened to me I think four or five times now uh, Winter Sleep was one of them Deja Vu was recently they removed it Escape from New York they removed it before July hit I remember I was going to hit it on, I was going to watch it July 1st and it was removed um Killing of a Mockingbird was another movie that they, they got rid of and I remember Every time I'm gonna watch a movie like Winter Sleep and uh, Killing of a Mockingbird, I was gonna watch it the following week, and that's the week they remove it. I don't know when, but it really pretty much sucks because it's like, what the heck? Why are you removing these movies without saying? If, if they are on the list, that's my point. If they are on your watch list, Netflix should say, hey, listen, we're gonna remove this movie on September 27th or October 28th. It does, uh, like, just give you the indication, or in three days this movie's gonna be, you know, removed. Send it to your emails, do something about it, but don't just remove the movie, and then all of a sudden expect us not to watch anything afterwards. It, it kind of really does suck. Another thing I don't like is that I don't wanna, I don't wanna order the DVDs. Yeah, you can, you know, they have their tears for the, the DVDs, but it, it's kind of stupid, because it's like, <sighs> well, I don't want to order them, and then all of a sudden there's like a bunch of the movies I want to see are DVD only, and you have a limited amount, so if you start, you know, you get their basic, you only get one, then, then you, you know, you get uh, tier two, it's like two of them, tier three, three of them, and then tier four, it's like unlimited, and it's, I'm like, <sighs> like, I, like, do I really want to just pop in a movie, no, I just want to watch it and just be like, yeah, I'm done, like, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't really don't want to do this. This is why Netflix exists because we don't do this no more. But now we have to go back to this. I'm like, ah, Blockbuster's dead for a reason. You killed it. But, you know, I guess it makes it easier ordering, watching movies. But you have to pay for that service too. So it kind of sucks. There's no trial for the DVDs. So I, I don't want to, you know, try it out and then be like, well, I don't like it. And then, you know, remove it. You can, you can't. But it's just... A, it's just, oh, I don't want to do that. So, my point is, I don't like that Netflix pretty much removes movies from their list. And they have, like, movies we don't, a lot of people probably don't even care. London Has Fallen. It's been there since, since I had Netflix. And, and it's still there. And I'm like, you just added Killing of a Mockingbird. You removed it within, like, a week. It was, like, kind of like a week. So, I don't like also that they're concentrating pure on TV shows, anime and TV shows. It's like, that's their main profit. I kind of don't like that because I'm like, well, I want to see more movies, but you guys don't bring movies. The movies you bring are like these low budget movies or these movies like I really don't honestly don't care about. 
Like, I would like to see, you know, like, let's just say Ant-Man. You have Civil War, but you don't have Ant-Man? Huh? You don't have any of the other movie, Marvel movies. So that's another one that kind of, eh. You know, or they'll have, like, let's just say, like, Candyman 3, and they don't have 1 and 2. It's like, I don't want to see the third one when you know, guys don't have, you know, 1 and 2. And, and that's another one that, that kind of sucks on Netflix. It's like, you have a sequel, but you don't have the first one. So I don't want to watch a sequel not understanding what the hell happened, you know, within 1 to 2. It's like John having John Wick 2 instead of John Wick 1, which they don't have, but... You know, it's me saying that purpose. It's like a lot of them, they have a lot of sequels, but they don't have the, the the first part to it. So I just don't want to get into it. Now, October's coming up, and I was hoping they had like a good selection for horror, but their horror movies are like, eh, I'm not even going to watch this. <sighs> but Netflix, I'm sorry, guys. Give us a warning. This is going up to you guys. Give us a warning. If it's in our list, give us a warning that it's going to be removed pretty soon. Don't just remove it and not give us that warning. Because that pretty much sucks. And it's horrible. I don't want to do your DVD uh, thingy. So, again, that's another one horrible for me. Because I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it and I don't want to pay extra. And as far as the 4K goes, I'm not sure how that works with the Ultra HD. Because that's, that's the package I have. I'm not sure how that works with, you know, the, the, the lower tiers to that. But... I don't really see a difference. Like majority of the time, it's always like 1920 or 1080p. I I never see something that's 4K. Well, not even 2K either, because my monitor I don't think can handle 4K. Well, no, it can't, because it's a 2560 over 1080p, I think. And it must be 1440p in order for it to be 2K. So, but I just never realized it. So, I really can't say in that package. But as far as I'm concerned. The movie selection, you guys need to add, like, you know, start adding, you know, remove movies that have been there for like six months already. Add movies that, you know, new new stuff that we haven't seen. And, and then, you know, keep doing that. Each month remove a certain amount of movies and add new movies. But they don't do that. They just add like one or two. And it's like sometimes they add a movie and you don't even know it. And then when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, I'm not saying this. But regardless, it, like, they add it without saying it. It's like new arrival icon pops up but it's just for one movie and they added like 20 of them and they don't even tell you which other new 20 so Netflix has a lot of problems I'm noticing I could say I can go to Hulu but I'm like eh what's the point it's gonna be the same thing so I just don't want to deal with it I just you know I'm gonna continue my image description with Netflix until the you know December hits because I believe that's when I started December January so I'm gonna see if after that I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not but for now I'm just like yeah give us a warning with that being said I got a special thanks for you guys for watching and if you guys want to subscribe comment you know how to do that and I'll see you next time